Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Uh, this week, we're thinking about one simple thought. Complex, hard to do, but a simple thought. And here it is. Be honest in a dishonest world. You hold on to honest choices, even when people around you are not functioning that way and seem to be kind of pulling off the scams and the things that they're doing. Stay honest, even when our world is dishonest. Two verses. The first one is from Proverbs chapter 11, verse 1. And here's what it says. The Lord detests dishonest scales, but accurate weights find favor with him. Detest is a strong word. We'll get back to that in just a minute. And then if you jump over to chapter 13, verse 11, you read this. Dishonest money dwindles away, but whoever gathers money little by little makes it grow. That little by little is kind of the sense of working day by day by day and gaining your money honestly and not through some kind of a some kind of a scam, some kind of a program, but really, really working day by day and being responsible. Both of these passages are addressing the issue of honesty in a world that's often dishonest. Here's a few thoughts from the biblical passage. First, detest is a strong word, but God detests dishonest scales. You say, what's a dishonest scale? I thought people are honest or dishonest. A dishonest scale is a scale that has weights and measures that are uh, kind of fixed in a way to favor the business person, and to hurt the consumer. It's like the person, it's like, it's like the butcher in a meat market who puts the meat on the scale and they place their thumb with a little bit extra weight and it shows a quarter pound more. And then you pay a little bit extra for a product you're not getting. In the ancient world, they would make, they would make these weights that they would put on a balance and these weights were supposed to be accurate, but sometimes they wouldn't weigh exactly what they were supposed to. And it was always in the favor of the person selling the meat or selling the product or the wheat and not the person buying it. And it says, God detests that. Why? It's dishonest. It's lying. It's cheating. It's stealing from someone else. And it doesn't say God kind of doesn't like it. He detests it. Now, extrapolate that to whatever your place in life. If you have a job and you put down eight hours of work and you work seven hours of work, you put the thumb on the scale. You've been dishonest. And you're going to get paid for something you didn't do. And it says, God detests that. It's dishonesty. It's stealing, it's cheating. And God knows and God has strong feelings about it. So be careful of that. And then the, the idea here is, is with, with time uh, and people, people will discover that if you're gaining what you get dishonestly, the pastor says it kind of dwindles away, it disappears. It's kind of like a vapor, it just, it's gone over time. Maybe not right away, but those who get what they get dishonestly, eventually it catches up with them. And the other side is also true. Honest, hard work grows over time. You know, those who gain day by day by day, not just by one kind of, one kind of deceitful action, that dwindles, but those who just day by day by day are faithful and honest and do their work, there's a payoff in the long run. And so here's the encouragement today. Beware of shortcuts. Beware of those things. There's the old saying, if it seems too good to be true, it's probably too good to be true. I have friends who live in the Monterey area here who have lost huge amounts of money with investments that seemed really, really, really to work in their favor. And someone behind the scenes was being dishonest. So when things seem too good to be true, rarely they might be true, but I don't think it's worth a chance. Usually they're not. If it seems too good to be true, it's probably not true. And if it seems like this deal is going to pay off at a level that is beyond your wildest imagination, you might be imagining it, but it may not pay off. So work hard, be responsible, be honest in what you do. Make sure your weights and measures are fair and God over time will reveal his blessing in your life. Let's pray together. Living God, each one of us can feel that temptation to cut corners, to find the, the deal that seems just like, oh my goodness, this is gonna turn things around in, in days or weeks or months instead of time over years of just hard work. But I pray that we would understand that if we're delving into something that's dishonest, that's cutting corners, Lord, in the long haul, it's not gonna pay off. Let us find out what it means to work hard, to be diligent, and to find the blessing in that and the long-term provision that you give to us through our hard work. Bless each one listening right now with the strength to be honest in our dishonest world. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, blessings on you. Enjoy the rest of your week. If you're part of Shoreline Church, we'll see you for worship, 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock, West Coast time, online, on campus. And if you're not part of Shoreline Church, 
get engaged in your church. If you're not part of church and you're away from Monterey, find a church, be part of God's family and keep growing in your faith. God bless you and have a great day.